Chris, I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Why didn't it let me out? Okay, yeah, I'm out now, thank you. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. You hear this piece of shit? Yeah, Disseminate my, my public information, right? No. You violated my rights. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, we're, we're stepping the vault, up. man. Where are we at? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. God. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Friday the Roundup with Sheriff White A. Moron. Want to welcome you back to my channel. Help it continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Turn on that notification bell and turn on all the notifications. Take that there, like button, like it, dislike it. Tell that you're buying it a courtesy facelift and tummy tuck. But surprise it with a gender reassignment surgery. Today's smooth-headed moron, this guy goes by the name Princess Leia Organa from the Star Wars saga. Today she... What's that? What? Really? Okay. Today's smooth-headed moron, this guy goes by the name Jose Maria Chile de Castro. Channel name is Delete Laws. This guy may be the most dangerous fraudster out there as far as the ideas he's putting out. He's cheered on criminals that have shot cops and is also an advocate for drunk driving. This guy is pure trash. But don't worry. Today, he's going to give us all a good laugh by getting locked up and then turning it into a big fundraiser. So anyway, let's watch. Let's round us up a fraudster. I was heading to the gym. Oh, don't worry. When you get to jail, Jim will head to you. And I saw something down here open up for me. And I just wanted to begin filming here as quickly as possible. You mean you're going to show up and start acting like a raging a-hole as quickly as possible? You know what's going on? That's right, Chitty. That's what a real journalist looks like. He ain't got time for your tomfoolery. Hello's for suckers. Yeah, I know. Saying hello is for suckers is a strange statement. But just remember, Chili De Castro is a sociopath. You could just do your job, mind your own business. That's what you could do. Excuse me? I told you, i would say it again. You could mind your own business. I'm doing my job. I appreciate your time. But just, if I was you, I'd just shut your mouth so I don't put you in your place. That's what I'd do if I was you. I'd shut up. If I was you. Unless you want to look like an idiot on YouTube. We're still pretty close to the road, so let's push this 
just out a little bit further. If you yeah. just keep going that way for me, I'm okay if you stay no, in no. line, but video over there for Don't me, tell okay? me where to stand. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm suing you guys for $5 million. Mm -hmm. I'll sue you for $5 million more. Now, I don't legitimately know this, but I know I've seen him in court several times, and I've seen him fail in court several times. But maybe let me know in the comments. Has this dude ever won anything in court? You don't okay, have a right I'm to not, tell me I'm, what to do. I'm just asking you shut stand your over there. We're still doing it. And you don't approach me. Tip? Shut your mouth. Sir, do you see the shut your mouth there? and shut your mouth. You I'm your boss. Do you see the That's right, son. Act up a damn fool. Give him an excuse to arrest you. You're no constitutional law scholar. You're a getting arrested law scholar. You shut down. You antagonize. You cuss out the police. You give them an, an excuse to arrest you. Also like that stupid trifold. That's one way to guarantee you always get the ticket. Never a warning. Do you understand that? Well, Shut your mouth. I'm walking down the street. Mind your own business. No, I'm just standing here. If you hadn't approached me, don't come behind me, Piggy. Okay. If, if, if you hadn't approached me, I, wouldn't, I don't give a damn what you are. You're not a sergeant. Shut your mouth. I'm here okay. doing my job. I'm a member of the press. I invoke my First Amendment right. Okay. Now, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right, so don't ask me another question. Look, I just got one thing to say to that. Bitch, please! Today's Fraud and Roundup, Bitch Please, is brought to you by Sansa Belt. Gents, are you not getting enough action in that there crotchal region? Well, step into some Sansa Belts with their patented action zone, right where it counts, right in the crouch. You get so much action, you think Steven Spielberg's directing it. Again, compromise elsewhere, step into some Sansa Belts. So you invoke your First Amendment right and your Fifth Amendment right. Bitch, please! Look, up until today, I thought you had a little bit more intelligence than most of these frauditors. I think I was wrong. Look, the First Amendment's not something you invoke. It's a right we have in the United States. You do get a little bit more access to certain places, but there's limits. You don't just get to wonder wherever you want. Reporters didn't show up to the Super Bowl and say, I invoke the First and we're guided right in. It didn't work that way. And the Fifth Amendment, that just keeps you from incriminating yourself. You don't have to answer questions if you're being criminally questioned. What kind of freaking yellow belly varmint are you? Take three steps back, gentlemen. I'm not your suspect. Take three steps back from me. Okay. So there's crime scene Take three, there, three steps back from me. I'm so walking down the street. I can walk okay. anywhere I want. There's not crime scene right crime here. Scene. The crime tape would be over here then, wouldn't it, dunce cap? Sir, I get you didn't graduate from high school, did you? crime scene tape right there, okay? We're just asking you to I don't give a rat's there. ass what you say. Do you understand that? Sir. I don't care what you say. I'm not breaking sir. any laws. Make it difficult. Okay. If you'd Where? mind your own damn business, we wouldn't be talking right now. If you hadn't opened your mouth, I wouldn't be talking to you. I'm, I'm just you filming this. And, uh, you're okay to film. I'm a member of the press. I told you I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. You have a right to ask me questions. Um... That's not how the Fifth Amendment works. Fifth Amendment says you don't have to incriminate yourself. You don't have to talk. The authorities can ask you questions all live long day, you moron. Have your I got the First Amendment. What are the, what are the first five big freedoms of the First Amendment? Do you have your press I'm a constitutional sir? law scholar, you dunce cap. What's it like sir, to be so stupid? I wonder what that's like. Right there, What's it like to be a go. moron? You walk What's it like to not know sir, our rights? You walk correct him. Tape already, hey, correct him, sir. Correct this man. Explain to him uh, that this, he doesn't have a right. Don't sir, put your hands on me. You've already walked across the crime scene tape. Are you going to run over and grab me? Are you going to run over? Sir, I don't. I'm walking down the street, gentlemen. I have a right to film this. Keep walking. You understand that? I understand. I'm I have a right to film this. You to if you touch me, there. I will sue you. You're I more than talking every time. Already, sir. I was walking down the street. I have a right to do so. Okay, but you, we are telling you that you need to Your cop told walking. me to walk over here. I have it on video. Okay, and I understand that. You're confronting me when you should be working on your if job. You, if you Why don't you shut me, your mouth and step away from me? I'm just filming. Let me talk to you, all right? Who's the demanding officer? I am. Okay, then step back from me and leave me alone. I'll stop no. talking to you and I'll keep walking that then way. keep walking. Then go that way. Get out of my face. No, I will stand right here. You can keep walking. You're not my boss, bro. I'm yours. You understand that? I, t I make the rules. I Wrong again. The legislative branch makes the rules. The police, which fall under the executive branch, enforce the rules. You have to abide by both. Now, you keep calling yourself a constitutional law scholar. Which constitution are you studying? I know it's not the one from these United States. 
If you have a lawful I'm order, you boss. need to keep walking. I if am you walking. Do not, then you I'm will getting, be arrested for obstruction. What's your name and badge number? I'm Sergeant Hutchinson. Okay. What's, what's your name and badge number? Bruin, 171. What's your name and badge number? Okay, what's your name and badge number? All right. If you would just do your job. If you would just do your... I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. I have it on video. I'm asking you to continue walking. It's recorded. It's recorded. I'm not going that way. I'm going that way. You can't. That's the thing. What is the crime scene about? This is a fatal car accident. Okay, so am I in any way near the fatal car accident? You are. Or are you just being a dominating pig to me? Please, there's no reason. There's no reason to try to detain me or arrest me. I've done nothing wrong. I'm not, there's no victim, there's no crime here, you're just being a dominating pig. You were just told two seconds ago this was a fatal car crash. You flipping moron. People like you ought to take a horny toad and shove him down your throat backwards. Leave me alone. I have not been disrespectful. All, I'm doing I'm doing filming, all I was doing is filming the bikes, man. That's all I was doing. And all I asked you was what you were doing. And it's none of your business. Do your job. You don't have to answer to you. You're not my daddy. No, I have the officer over there on video told me to walk this way. Go ahead and arrest me and find out how quick I sue your ass. Sir. Just do it. Okay. okay I have to go walk the other way. The so I'm going to be walking over here. Go to the crime scene, sir. Don't go tell go me what way. to do. Please go that way. Don't tell me what to do. Then let's just You're not walking. my boss. I'm giving you a lawful order. Let's start walking now. Let's go. We're going this way. Are you going to put your hands on me now? No, but in just a few hours, Bubba will. <laughs> Leave me the don't, f don't, don't touch me, dude. I'm just, dude, I'm just, I'm just standing here. I'm just standing. You to where you need to go. Are you guys going to surround me? Leave me alone. I'm escorting you to where There's you no need to go. There's no reason to do this. I'm not trying to fight anybody. I'm There's no victim here. There's no crime. You're just trying to dominate another Let's person. Just leave me alone. Okay, I can leave, but you don't have to walk okay, up on me. Go, so you so what's yet. the emergency? Is there an emergency? Somebody's dead, sir. Is that enough emergency But where are they at? Let's go. Where are they at? Where they at? You you just produce a corpse and uh, I'll release Sloan. Uh, uh, Ed, I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did you say you wanted to see a body? Yeah, that's right. Just uh, roll her old bones on over here and I'll dig up your daughter. Are they right here? Let's go, sir. Am I causing sir, any problems here? Sir, let's go. The only thing you're doing is losing your cool, acting like an sir, idiot. The crime scene you're right acting let's like go. a dunce cat. Let's go, sir. You're on camera acting like right a here, moron, sir. bro. Come on, sir. No, look at this. I got one, two, no, three, three four cops. Oh, yeah. For what? What, what good's it doing? Area. What good's it doing? You're just going. You don't need to ask for me. Go back to where you're going. I'm walking. I'm walking, I'm walking. I'm walking right now. Let's go. Now you're threatening me with violence. Now this guy's threatening me with violence. Let's go, sir. Now they're now they're pushing me. Look, look at their hands all over me. Look at that. Look at that. You're right. All we're escorting you. Don't fucking touch me, boys. Don't. What are you doing? Now you're going to jail. For what? Yes, sir. We'll grab them. Okay. But just, if I was you, I'd just shut your mouth so I don't put you in your place. That's what I'd do if I was you. I'd shut up. If I was you. Unless you want to look like an idiot on YouTube. I just got out of jail. I spent 12 hours in jail. Wait, what the hell's going on with that hair? Oh, I know what happened. What is that? Hmm? On your ear. Ear? No, oh. your left ear. Is that? Is that a hair gel? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can no, use no, 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 no,
filming police in a non-emergency situation where they had put crime tape up around a, a block around a an intersection in Las Vegas. And I approached the cops. I have the video. I'm going to show it to you now. And the simple fact is that these cops got their ego. They got their butt hurt pigs. Everybody do me a favor, hit the like button. I might be a little bit out of it. I was just in the slammer for 12 hours. So it was, it was a little bit freezing cold. It was, it was so cold. I was freezing cold the whole time. So I want to show you guys the video. It's just processing right now. It'll just take one second. I'm doing a fundraiser now because I am going to sue those jackboot thug pigs 100,000%. Wait, why would you need to fundraise? Certainly an alpha male that's a constitutional law scholar makes enough money to cover his legal bills. Or since you're a constitutional law scholar, why do you even need an attorney? Just go pro se. You can save a lot of money that way. If you guys will use the pay apps, if I could try to collect five or 10 bucks from every person to get out of jail, it cost me about a thousand bucks. And I had a choice to either pay the thousand bucks or wait for the judge to decide whether or not I'd get out on my own recognizant. Sorry. So I'm not, I'm obviously a little bit disheveled. I apologize. I did not respect their authority at all. And what I will do now is I'll sue them. I, I'm sued them for $5 million and now I'm going to sue them for $5 million more to try to teach them a lesson that you cannot arrest people who are journalists. I don't think so, Slappy. Look, just because you claim to be a journalist, although I've never seen any published stories of yours, don't mean you got a right to just blow off lawful commands. And as you guys know, as I always teach you guys, when you involve yourself with cops, the first thing you do is you invoke your First Amendment right to be press. And if you're one of Chili's followers and you heed his advice, you're going to wind up in jail just like him. Announcing you're the press ain't a get out of jail free card. Go ahead and try it and see what happens. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this, this, I know I did a fundraiser last week. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. I'll continue. And just so you guys know, as I run for governor, I'll continue to do fundraisers. I'll never stop asking you guys to donate money. It won't ever stop. I will ask you from now until the time I'm dead because I'm not going to do anything else with my life except for what I'm doing now. I'm going to continue to fund lawyers and activists all over the country. I'm going to continue to press and run for governor, of which I will take no special interest money. So I will crowdfund my run for governorship and I will win. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, please, please let that happen. Please run for governor. Oh, Lord. I can't wait to every vile, disgusting thing you've done or said. To hit the news cycle, that'd be a dream come true. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time to say goodnight. Put a little beans on the fire, a little sex on the beach on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, goodnight, I bid you adieu.